What is a theremin? And where can I get one for free? Hello YouTube, Dr. James M. Nuclear here, presenting the theremin and how you can get one for free. The theremin is a musical instrument. You were just listening to one underneath the title music. You may uh, be familiar with the sound from early 1950s sci-fi monster flicks or even earlier radio programs. It is a device that usually looks like about this big and it has two antennas. It actually uses human capacitance, which we all have, to detect how close someone's hands are to these antennas. And based on that, it changes the sound that comes out of the box. Very interesting. And you can build one yourself, but it's kind of expensive and kind of difficult project. So, who invented the theremin? That's what I'd like to know. Theremin was originally known as the atherophone, or the thereminophone, or even sometimes the thereminox. <clears throat> it's an early electronic musical instrument com controlled without contact from the player. It's named after the Russian inventor, Professor Leon Theremin. He patented the device in 1928. Imagine that, way back in 1928, they were doing those cool sounds. So, <clears throat> how can you get one? Well, building a theremin is absolutely possible. There are kits out there on the internet. Just Google it. But, there's a better option, actually. There is a free PC emulator program for the theremin, and it's available at http colon slash slash www dot e l i e j i m that's Eli Jim, apparently, dot co dot uk. Okay? <clears throat> Does it work well with the Wii interactive whiteboard system that I love so much? And is it any fun? Well, yes, you is what right. the program looks like right here. She's already all fired up, installed, and ready to go. What you got here is your own PC theremin. The low notes are down over here. And the high notes are up to the right, just like on a piano keyboard. It goes very high, goes very low, and it makes some really, really cool sounds. Now watch this. I'm going to do the sound of an alien space saucer taking off. <laughs> Not bad, huh? And you can do music. There's also a lot of other uh, parameters that you can play around with. You can make it sound a little bit different. Uh, you can make it a little more square wavy. I don't know, it just changes the sound a little bit. See, it makes it a little more harsh. So this is a good way of introducing uh, actual electronics and waveforms to a class of students, and a very fun way to do it at that. So that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Theremin. By yours truly, Dr. James M. Nuclear.